A group of Perth believers is convinced there's life beyond our planet and they're hunting down evidence all over the state to prove their case. Over the weekend, they travelled to the Midwest. Graham Butler joined them as they tried to establish contact with UFOs. They've been trying to make contact with us for well over 50 years and in fact they have been successful. We're not going to say no, uh, we have never been visited by aliens. All we're asking, and it's a simple request, just show us the evidence. Please, not in the form of a blurred image. I've done a lot of research. I've talked to people, um, and I'm talking about people of high standing in the community, commercial airline pilots, um, nuclear physicists. We have emergency room physicians people from all echelons of life that are actually witnessing this. It's a question as old as time itself. Are we alone? There are plenty of people who believe we're not, and the evidence, they say, is all around us. Strange lights in the night sky, close encounters with visitors from space. If you're asking me if I've seen a circular UFO hovering above my house, no, I haven't. If you're asking me if I've seen events or anomalies that I can't explain that emanate anywhere on this planet, then yes, I have seen that. This is the first location we're about to check out. Okay. So. Karen Ong is a sort of UFO hunter. She's leading a group of Perth believers on a quest to try and make contact with visitors from space. And before you can say crackpot, Karen is serious and she's heard the doubters before. What do you say to the people that think you're a nutter? I, I don't care what people think of me anymore. I really have got beyond that. In fact, um, I've got a colleague that has said that to me, Karen, I'd be very careful about who you talk about with this because you know that people are going to question, question your credibility. Well, I've gone beyond worrying what other people think. Karen has trained with UFO groups in the US and heads the Study Centre of Extraterrestrial Technology and Life in WA. She's agreed to let us join her latest quest to make contact. We're about three hours north of Perth and Karen is scoping out potential sites for the night's search. So definitely the elevation's perfect, um, but I am concerned about the, low, the proximity okay. to the built-up area, so okay, we'll, move on, we'll move on to the next site, I think. Well, whatever location we have, we need to ensure that there's enough distance between us and them. Even though we don't have the uh, advantage of the height, we do have good uh, peripheral. We do, we do have good 360 degree views um, and I do like the fact that we are a bit secluded from the township so yeah, we're not going to get any light pollution from there. Karen says there's a lot of UFO activity in WA. Photos like this taken just weeks ago over the city. It was only after the photo was snapped the strange black objects were noticed. And these taken in Bunbury three years ago. The photographer was shooting the sunset when lights appeared in the night sky. What are they? Well, that's up to you. Head of the Skeptic Society, John Haps, thinks he knows. The photographs that I've just seen tell me absolutely nothing. I see lights in the sky, uh, they're blurred, and they're like a thousand other so-called UFO photographs that I've seen. If you were ever looking for a place on Earth that looked like, well, something from out of this world, this would have to be it. It's the Pinnacles Desert. And you could imagine aliens feeling quite at home here. Well, the place that's been selected for tonight is not that very far away. The location is away from the nearest town to avoid light pollution. The group settles in to watch the skies. It's going to be a long night. We're not experiencers ourselves, but we're great right. people who are. A couple of the people have had un unusual experiences that they, they can't put a finger to, but we do have one person here tonight that has had her own experiences, so she's very eager to make more contact. Chris Watson is that person. The Perth mum says she's often visited by alien creatures and she doesn't care what people think of her claims. I was fully awake when a light came through my window into my bedroom and then these little persons followed it and stood in the bedroom with me. Chris says she's experienced what many others have reported, creatures like these, greys, visiting her bedroom. 
skeptics remain just as convinced the experiences can be easily explained and are nothing more than sleep paralysis along with hallucinations or dreaming. Try telling that to Chris. No doubt in your mind. None at all. None at all. And totally comfortable with it now. I think um, there's some big venture ahead for us as a planet. More recently, there seems to have been uh, an increase in <coughs> sighting of uh, lights, global lights, uh, lights that change colour. Um, we watch them very carefully because it's uh, uh, quite fascinating to see these things. Tony Lambert is a local who says he and others have often seen lights that can't easily be explained. What are you expecting tonight? Uh, expecting? I'm not sure at all. We're very hopeful. Um, we might get some signals, um, some of the lights I mentioned earlier, we've had an interaction with those by uh, flashing a torch and we instantly got a response. It's eyes up. It is. Bumps down and eyes up. <laughs> and that means we have to lose our lights. The vision you're now seeing is shot with a night vision camera. The camera can see, but to the naked eye, everything here is pitch black. We wait. That seems to be moving to me, or is it my okay, eyes? Maybe swept up in the excitement, or maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me. But I could see a strange light moving on the horizon. It appeared to move up and down. I can that's see it moving. Going. Everything's going, coming up over there. Yeah, the only way it could be a plane of us going away, but it's got green as well. I, what I've got isn't moving, though. What I've got is quite big. But my close encounter wasn't to be. The light was from another world, but easily explained. Karen, it's a star, darling. Heat from the uh, yeah. 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 ground yeah. causing that effect. <laughs> What we're hearing is actually a synthesised recreation of actual tones that were recorded in crop circles. So um, part of the protocols is that if we do feel that we're going to get some type of activity or even just throughout the night to uh, draw attention to ourselves, um, we can put these tones on and hopefully um, get some type of activity happening. They're no bigger than the tip of a ballpoint pen. At a distance they can be red or white very bright. We don't know what it is. Unless it starts signalling back, it could be anything. Um, so, hence the signalling, just to make sure that if it is any type of intelligence, um, it will signal us back. But tonight, there was no signal back. E.T. never phoned home. And the only thing coming down was the temperature. And that was dropping fast. We left the searchers to it. Aliens won. Earthlings nil. It's perfectly healthy to be sceptical about this subject and, and that's, that's healthy. But go out and research in, in depth the information that's out there. If you'd like more information about the UFO hunters, you can visit a new internet radio station based in Perth called Ghost Radio. Details are on our website. More in a moment.